It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And Sarah, we have another Elijah Craig. Well, I say another, but we haven't really... Well, we did last year's uh, voted Whiskey of the Year. The... We didn't ever put that out. No, but we did <laughs> include it in our Best of 2017 yes. um, flight, sort of. A competition. It was in there. Um, so it was in there. Mm -hmm. uh, we just didn't go through all the steps to get to the final three right. uh, to show you all of that. But now, now yeah. um, we just got back from the New Orleans Bourbon Festival and this little gem uh, won Best in Fest. Yeah. Uh, but before we talk about that, mm -hmm. I think we want to thank our patrons on yes. our Patreon page. This is our patron video. Uh, so the names that you see scrolling down here, or not really, they don't really scroll. They pop up. They pop up. Uh, are people who uh, are patrons of a certain level and above. So they're kind of like our executive producers. Yeah. And they help make it happen. Yes, they help make the live show that we now do once a week happen. They make things like this happen. They get input. We're just very thankful for them. Yeah. Oh. That was a nice pop. Yeah, that was a good one. Wow. So thanks, guys. Yeah, and if you want to become a patron, it's just uh, patreon.com slash it's bourbonite. For as little as a buck, you can you can be on there, and it just it helps the channel out. Helps us buy stuff like this. Yeah. So. so it was it won Best in Fest. Best in Fest and also Best Cast Strength. That's right. But this was gold. Yeah. Gold, And uh, we baby. actually got to talk to Denny Potter a little bit about it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we'll check that out. Check that out. Anytime you win an award like this and it's yeah. done by the consumer and people that are really passionate about whiskey oh, I mean, and we come out on top, we're proud, there's no doubt about it, but there's a lot of damn good whiskeys out here. Obviously the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, the B517 was Whiskey of the Year for Whiskey Advocate. And to have the C917, uh, we've always said it wasn't just about you know the batch B517, it's really about the release of the Barrel Proof yeah. and this is just more validation that that line is pretty solid. Uh, you know, today's consumers have an affinity for some of the higher proof releases. Uh, but that being said, it's still got to be, it's got to carry the same flavor profiles that people enjoy and maybe some of our lower proof stuff just amped up a little bit. We're pretty consistent with this and winning this award, just more validation that we're doing something right. So he was obviously happy and a well-deserved win. Mm -hmm. So, you know, now I kind of feel bad for the A. <laughs> version right. of, uh, of last year. No one's talking about it. So, C917. This is barrel strength. Uh, yeah, this, it is. <laughs> this is 131 Ooh, on the dot. I can tell. Uncut, straight from the barrel. And, you know, a lot of people say, you know, the Elijah Craig 12 year of yesteryear was, was so good and I can't believe they took the age statement off. Well, if you still want your 12 year old Elijah Craig, all you have to do is get a barrel proof. 12 years old, non-chilled, filtered. You know the connection here, Sarah. Since this one at the New Orleans Bourbon Festival, or the New Orleans Bourbon Festival, uh -huh. we're drinking out of a New Orleans. I think that it's nice that even though it's 131, which normally would just kind of burn my nostrils whenever I smell it, it's still, a lot of the nosy notes still come through. Yeah. It's not overshadowed by the proof. Mm. It smells like a nice, baked something with some spices and I'm kind of I don't know if I'm if this is right but I'm kind of getting some peanut butter like it, at least it smells kind of like no silky I get smooth. you I'm getting like some cinnamon yeah the creaminess of a peanut butter kind of brown sugar yeah so I think it's a ba a nice dessert a nice a nice baked dessert it smells great it smells they should make a candle that smells like this lovely yeah I would drink that candle I would so maybe like they should. my house to smell like that. I don't think you should drink candles. No, okay. Mm, okay, no, very good, very good. I need a second sip before I can say wow. anything for a certain. I think what's different about the smell is it smelled really creamy, like it was just going to cover the tongue in a, in a, like a blanket. This is more like a bit into something a little brittle with some kick to it. Yes. So it doesn't have like that you know, mouthfeel that I was kind of expecting from the smell, but it's still really nice. Yeah, it is really it. nice. I'm immediately getting the warmth in my chest. Yeah. Um, like, small fires. <laughs> um, I need a second sip because it, the heat rushed to the back of my tongue and it was almost like a little electricity in my mouth, like, whoa. Uh, so I think I, 
that was my jolt awake for yeah. my taste buds and I just need another. I get the peanut, I get like a spicy, that's why I think it's like cinnamon, mm -hmm. but in this way that cinnamon is um, intense kind of, and I don't mean it's overly intense, like if, if there was such a thing as a cinnamon peanut butter. Mm. And it's not super peanut buttery, it just is like very faint, but that creaminess, I think. Yeah. My oh. tongue's numb. Yeah. Okay, on the on the on second the front. on the second sip, I actually get more of what I was expecting. Mm -hmm. Kind of this creaminess. I, I can just That's picture I... someone spreading like an icing or whatever mm -hmm. on something. Yeah, that's why I was like, I need to wait until after my second sip to give this a full yeah, description it's... because I think my tongue just was like, whoa, there's that. Yeah, okay, you so know? there's that. Yeah, whoa. There's All 131 right. proof. I'm getting more of the finish this time. It's more of like um, chocolate. Second sip, I could see like a, a dark chocolate. This is very Ooh. thought provoking. And there it goes again. It's there, yeah. Oh, it's there. <laughs> oh, it's there. Oh, it's nice. Probably not something I would drink in the middle of the summer. It's I mean, if I drank this, I would be like, good God, it's so hot in here. <laughs> we are going to put some water I'm going to put just a little, just to find out. I yeah. mean, do I really want to? No. Personally? But nah, for science. But for, but for the sake of giving a fair review. We are, I do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, give us one second. We're going to add maybe about seven, eight drops of water in this. Let it sit. Be right back. Okay, so we put some drops in here. We let it sit. Mellow, mingle, settle, whatever. Settle. Not a whole lot, about seven or eight drops. Yeah. You know, Something we didn't like want that. to get crazy. Color really You have a little changed. more than me anyway, so I think I put a little less than yeah. you because yeah. I have less to water down. Sorry. Not water down. Add water to. Add what? To Has open it, up. To open up. To open up. All right. Oh, I'm definitely getting more of like a greenery. I'm getting more caramel. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting more of like an outdoorsy fresh cut flowers or I still maintain that it should be a candle <laughs> mm. I get a little bit more like in the back towards the back of the palette I get more of a nut flavor and it also kind of changes like not texturally it's hard to say that it's a liquid right but it kind of feels different on my tongue um, toward and just specifically in that like nutty taste that settles in like mid back tongue, mm -hmm. and then I think that the finish isn't lasting as long for me, um, which I liked that before. Um, no, it is definitely good with time, with maybe with a little bit of water. This is around seventy to eighty dollars. If you get it at the distillery, you you know you're gonna have to pay about eighty bucks. I say. Would you worth recommend? Yes. Let's call it seventy. Would you recommend? Hell yes. <laughs> I have to agree. I have to agree. This is delicious. I think it says something that it, the B won last year Whiskey of the Year for... Whiskey Advocate. Whiskey Advocate, that's mm -hmm. right. And then got voted in the New Orleans Bourbon Festival. Oh, and we didn't even say it. It was from, a, what, the VIP? Uh, if you did VIP? That's correct. So it's from Joe Schmoe's Like You and Me. People who paid for VIP tickets got to do the yeah. blind taste test. Yeah, so um, this is from... And it was blind. The people. The they people have know. spoken. Right, and they said this. And, yeah. And considering that there were high... I say higher end, and when I... I don't mean more prestigious, I just mean more expensive. Sure. Um, things there. Limited edition, like once a right. year limited exactly. editions. And this came out on top, which... In a blind taste test, I don't know what I would pick, but I know that this is really good, and for $70 and three times a year, I say hell yeah. Yeah, so recommend. Strong recommend. Yep. Well, let's wrap Next. it up. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. That helps us out a lot. You can hit that bell notification to know when we post new episodes, but they're every Friday, live on Sunday. You can also uh, find things like this Norland glass Ooh. or the Tribeca glasses that we use in our flight fights mm -hmm. at our Amazon page, which is amazon.com slash shop slash it's bourbon night. Yep. And I'll let Sarah talk. You can follow us on all the social media channels, Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff at it's bourbon night. Um, what else? Patreon. Patreon. Yeah. Patreon.com slash it's bourbon night. There you go. Those go are there. All... We do polls check the polls out because sometimes we'll do like live what should we do on our next live episode mm -hmm. we'll ask and that's open to the public mm -hmm. um and then we'll just do patron only posts as well mm -hmm. uh so go there vote on some stuff help us figure out what we're doing because you all are guiding us steer us please where we're supposed to go steer us um and i think that's it that is it so thanks sarah thanks chad okay and until next time drink more bourbon
It's a delicious, velvety extravaganza. <laughs> <laughs>